guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that little entrance clip there. If you did, then let me know by leaving a like, comment and subscribe if you are new to the channel. What I'm doing now is heading to the gym wearing full LSJ gear today. Excited, it is shoulder day. Let's go. It's actually getting kind of dark already, it's, and it's only like half past three. You can't really see that because this camera is really good, but first off of the day is to go to the post office. We are sending off packages to America today. Yes, that's right guys, the second package going over to America. The LSJ Army is expanding. Let's do this. Size of the day was a little bit of shoulder press. I did three sets of that, worked my way up really slowly. Uh, I was actually training with Alex and he went home quicker than I actually warmed up. So that just gives you just the extent that I do warm up sometimes. Uh, spent about 20 minutes, a good 20 minutes or so doing that because I've actually up the weight and progressive overload in itself can actually be reducing rest time. So if I have a little bit longer rest for now on 70 kilos, slowly, slowly, slowly reduce that but keep the weight the same, that's a good form of progressive overload as well as going up in weight. Next exercise was a barbell bent over the road. I moved on to a flat dumbbell bench. I've not done dumbbells for months, especially you guys haven't seen me do it. I think I did it once between summer and now. So again, slowly working my way up doing some pause reps. Started for 26, moved up to 32, now I'm going to up it to 34. Just got done at the gym, sick workout and surprise surprise just got done at Audi as well. I'm actually stood outside this furniture shop just for the better lighting to be honest with you. Uh, this camera is really good in the, in the uh, dark but it's not that good. So I just wanted to make sure we are on the way home and it's only about half past five. It was one of those workouts where I just kept on going and going and going but I knew I had to go because it was, it was dinner time. So uh, what I wanted to talk about was why it's getting so dark and maybe how that could affect you and how it affects me and how you can get over it. So uh, if you're from the UK or anywhere similar, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if not, stay tuned, maybe it can help you either way. By the way, if you are a student and do try and find a place like Audi, purely because I just paid £3.45 for something that's gonna last me about three meals, I bought 500 grams of mince and the ingredients for a chili, and that was £3.45. I mean, it's no muscle food, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be the next best thing. For, for the price anyway, the meat's not as good, but it'll do. Hello? Nope. Alright guys, it is the following day and I'm in a very familiar location. If you follow me through the summer, all of last summer, any of the holidays so far, you will know exactly where I am. Yes, that's right guys, I am back in the home gym. I am very excited to be back for the weekend. I am going to be watching my niece in the pantomime, so I had to come home to come and watch that, and so it means that I get to train in my favorite place on earth. It is very cold in here at this time of year. It's December, and uh, it's winter. It's actually officially winter here now in the UK, so I'm fully wearing LSJ. I'm fully kitted out in the, t in the hoodie and the joggers as well, which will be coming very, very soon. Got an LSJ t-shirt on underneath as well. And I bet, uh, to be honest, I bet some of you guys think, 
Oh god, he just wears his own stuff everywhere, or he's just trying to be a big head, or he's selling all, selling this stuff and he's just trying to wear it. Why wouldn't he just wear normal clothes just like anybody else? Like, but the reality is, guys, I am incredibly, incredibly proud of what I have brought, I, what I've, not what I've brought, what I've created. I'm, I, at the end of the day, I brought this from the ground up. Like, I, you know, I had this logo thought up in my head for years and then eventually had it made and then eventually got it put onto something. And then it's starting to become something. Earlier on in the video, you guys saw me ship my second package over to America. America, guys, America, for God's sake. Like, I mean, some of you might not think that's a big deal, but to me, that is a humongous, incre that's, a, that's an incredible achievement. Ship it, ship America, America, halfway across the world. Some people are watching my videos, like paying attention to my content, thinking, wow, yeah, you know what? I want some of that stuff, just like they would with Nike or Adidas or anything like that, like Gymshark, anything. And to me, that's just incredible. And so I, I wear this, yes, I wear this a lot, and I, I wear it with pride, that's for sure. This is a, it's a badge of honor to me. LSJ is not just a name to me, it is family, and it is to you guys as well. Anyway, that's not what I actually wanted to talk about in today's video. That was just a, a little bit of a sidetrack that kind of came into my head. What I wanted to talk to you guys about was um, the weather. You guys, I'm going to insert a clip right here where you can see uh, the weather here in the UK at four o'clock in the evening. So you can't really tell because it's like it's a decent camera, but it's four o'clock and it's already getting dark. Now, as you guys can see, that's not the greatest thing in the world. And as you guys can probably tell or work out or at least sort of imagine, if you struggle a little bit with mental health or something like that, that can be a little bit depressing. That can get, that can get you down a little bit. And I like to be very positive on this channel and that is very hard for a lot of other people and at times myself when it's really dark outside and you come out of uni or you come out of work. It's at the time of year where you wake up and go to work and it's dark. You, you come out of work and it's dark. You wake up to go to school and it's dark. You go home from school and it's dark. Same with university or whatever, whatever walk of life you're in, that tends to be the sort of pattern that happens around this time of year. And that can get you down, guys. But what I want to say to you guys in this video is you, ca you can't let it. You can't let the time of year, the weather, or anything affect how you feel inside. And you have to just find out inside you what makes you feel good and do that more often. For me, that is speaking to family, speaking to friends, spending time with the girlfriend, going to the gym, all this kind of stuff that puts me in a really good mood, gives you those positive endorphins and makes you feel good, not only about yourself, but just about life in general. And so you cannot let the weather, the time of year, I think it's a pathetic fallacy. I think that's what it's called. Charlotte does English, she'll be able to tell you. I think we're all guilty of doing it every now and then and letting it get us down and let, letting us, especially if this time of year you have exams or you have like, I don't know, deadlines, like I've got some dissertation deadlines, I've got some assessment deadlines, and you know, it, it can mean that you don't want to do anything, you don't want to, you end up procrastinating, like for me, sometimes going to the gym is procrastinating, I, I know I have to do some assessment work, but I love going to the gym and I can't help, I can't resist but go to the gym, that then makes me feel good, but then I'll come back and do some work, because I feel good afterwards, but I didn't feel good before, do you, do you see what I'm trying to say? So, I just want you guys to know that if you do feel a little bit down at this time of year, you aren't alone and uh, you know there's always people like me that you can talk to. Just do something that's going to make you feel good. I can't tell you exactly what that is, that's just something you're going to have to figure out for yourself. But hopefully you can take this little bit of advice, it's something I've incorporated into my life and I'm definitely much, much happier since doing that too. So that is going to conclude today's uh, sort of rant section. You are going to finish, uh, I'm going to finish this video here guys. Thank you so much for watching. If the next video you see will be in the home gym, it will be nice and clean, ready for a what day is it I think it's I think it's back day so I think we're gonna be doing some pull-ups some bent over rows I think I'm just I'll probably end up just doing a full body just because I love training here so much but anyway that'll be in the next video stay tuned for that if you enjoyed this video then drop drop it a like leave a comment down below and subscribe if you are new to the channel thank you so much for watching guys and as always remember no regrets I'll see you guys in the next video